everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is super exciting i am driving my husband's tesla for the first time <laughs> i wanted to take you guys along and i hope that you guys are able to see me <laughs> drive it and I just wanted to, you know, document this experience since you guys really loved our buy the Tesla experience vlog. And so yeah, here's some more Tesla content. Right now I'm driving to the doctor's, a doctor's appointment. And it's about 15 minutes away, not too, too far, 15 to 20 minutes. I am going to be late though because my appointment's at 10 and it's now 9.50. But they usually don't give me any type of problems and I usually have to wait when I go. So not super worried about that. Yeah, I'm driving Michael's car for the first time. And you're probably asking like, why are you driving his car? What happened to your car? Do you have a car? I do have a car. My car currently needs new brakes and because of that it did not pass inspection. They do inspection here in New York. So like it's parked up chilling until I'm able to pay for new brakes slash get it fixed. In the meantime, I am staying at home or sharing Michael's car. This is my first time out with it. We did go test driving yesterday with it and hold on guys. We did go test driving yesterday with the car just because I did not want my first, first time ever getting behind the wheel to be when I'm driving it by myself. So Michael was there with me and it literally felt like I was learning how to drive for the first time. <laughs> like I drive a Nissan Versa in case anyone wants to know for reference, which is a small car and Tesla is wide and long. So... So it's a different experience, different feel altogether. So I definitely wanted to have a feel for it before I took it for a spin, and I did. The only thing that, that happened that went wrong was I scraped the side of his right back rim. And that's honestly one of the reasons why I don't like driving people's car, because at the end of the day, I had my personal car for years, going on, what, seven, eight years, eight years now, and it was my first car, and yeah i just felt like i not that i was careless with it but if something happened with my car i was completely okay because it's like it's my car you know what i mean y'all get what i'm saying like when you have your own car you are like a lot more comfortable driving it and like if especially if it's an old car or a used car you feel okay if it gets a little scraped or scratched or whatever like it's whatever like because you don't plan on keeping that car forever it's not your baby i mean some people think it's their baby still but that's not how i felt about my car and so now that i'm driving michael's new car not only is it new it's not mine so yeah i just take a different type of care with it so there's that headed to the doctor's office let me just show you guys how this is looking how it's looking as i drive Okay, so I'm almost at the doctor's. I think my biggest problem is going to be parking it in the Tesla. It's longer and wider than my car. I did practice it parking yesterday, but Jersey near where we live is a lot more spacious than where I'm going to go to the doctor. So that's the only thing that I am slightly worried about. Um, other than that, the driving has been amazing. Tesla does have regenerative braking, so you just have to lift your foot off the gas and it stops, which is, I think, unique to Tesla. That's not too hard to get used to, to be honest, for me. The only thing I would say is sometimes I still press the brake if I'm at a light because I still roll a little bit. Okay, guys, so I got a spot to park my Tesla. So I am going to go to the doctor's now. It's actually 10.02. Three, so I'm not as late as I thought I would be, which is good. So yeah, let me go get, you know, let me get my appointment started and then I'll catch you guys later when I go by my mom. See you. All right, hello everybody. I am back from the doctor. The appointment went well. I only want to get my blood test results back and I got them, so 
Now I am headed to my mom's house. I'm super hungry. I haven't eaten any breakfast. I just drank a little bit of water. And honestly, that was the main thing that's on my blood work. That's a problem. I need to drink more water, more liquids, which I know. It's true. So anyway, let me go see my mom. Drive my husband's Tesla yet again and check back in with you guys when I arrive. This angle is probably really unflattering and I'm going to test it out. One thing I like about Tesla's reversing is that when you put the car in reverse, it lowers the mirror so that you can see the curb. I really like that. That's super cool. You know how some cars you would have to manually adjust it for you to see the curb? You don't have to do that with Tesla. How nice. And then the other thing that I really like about a Tesla that I find is unique is that you can put multiple driving profiles. Yesterday when I test drove my car, well not car, <laughs> this car, my husband's car, I adjusted like the seat, the mirror, the rear view mirror, my side mirrors, the steering wheel. I was able to do all of that and save it as a separate profile under my name and my husband has his own profile that he did have when he got the car that has all of his settings his height for his steering seat all of that and so all we have to do is switch like if i'm driving all i have to do is click on the little car icon i'll show you guys when i reach but the little car icon then click on my name to switch to my settings and then if he wants to drive his car back, instead of manually fixing everything, he just has to click the car icon and then click the little icon for the person and then click his name. So I love that because that just saves so much time. You know what I mean? That just saves so much time instead of having to manually do everything, you know? You can just click a button and everything is saved so it's not like oh man i like my steering a certain way and now that you drive it's all messed up and i can't get it back to how i usually have it nope you just click a button and tesla will automatically adjust for you so that's super cool and i really like that feature this is just how the um how it looks my surroundings right now and all of that so this is the car icon that i was telling you guys about i've grown accustomed to driving it and this is my first time honestly like it's not as nerve-wracking as i thought it would be i thought i would be super nervous in driving it but truthfully it's not that bad i'm driving around my parents neighborhood now so i'm not gonna show the street because y'all don't need to know where my mom lives and i'm saying my mom when i say my mom is because my dad passed away last year 2021 so it's only my mom now who lives in their house the house that i grew up in so i'm going to see her since she lives not too far from where i go to the doctor and it's parking right in front of uh, the house because I guess people are at work. I heard they come over here this early again. Um, I wonder if my mom's even home. She home? Shoot. My mom's not even home. That's fine. I think she, my mom went to a, sh a church pantry. And scratched up my husband's tires again. I did the same thing yesterday, guys. Don't be like me. When you're parking, look at your side mirror that adjusts for you to park. Don't look at the backup camera. I did this yesterday and I scraped his rim and I did it again. And again, this is why I feel bad when it's time for me to, yeah. This curb is a little bit lower, so hopefully it didn't do additional damage, but I'm going to go out and see. Before I go inside and see my mom, I just wanted to give my final verdict. Well, actually, let me show you guys the car icon and the profile thing, because I was talking about it. This is the car icon. You click on it, and then you hit here to change your profile. 
So you just tap that. And then you can click you can click and add as many profiles as you want, I believe. But right now it's me. And I just hit the car icon to put that away. Just to close this video, I want to give my last like final thoughts slash verdict on driving a Tesla for the first time. My husband's Tesla. I will say that it does take some getting used to. This is technically my third time getting behind the wheel of it. The first time was like to drive down a driveway. The second time was to test drive it yesterday before I was gonna do a drive by myself. And then today is technically my first time driving it without him. It takes some getting used to. I needed to practice yesterday in order to feel comfortable. But now that I've driven it, I feel totally comfortable. I am very relaxed i love it honestly it's a great driving experience i can manage to drive it so if you're used to smaller cars it'll take time to adjust but like you'll get it and then it feels like your own car <laughs> like i said i did hit the curb not hit the curb i did scratch the rim against the back rim on the right side the passenger side on the curb i did that yesterday when i test drove it and i think i did it just now as i parked it by my mom and the reason why is because i am accustomed to looking at my backup camera to park my car and yes tesla does show a backup camera as well as the side views however the side mirror does adjust so that you can park and see the curb and i just for some reason have a bad habit of looking at the backup camera instead of looking behind me or side view mirror in order to park so i scraped up the rim i'm sure i'm going to show you guys after i leave out of here to see how bad it is but i did it yesterday so it's already scraped up because of yesterday so uh i feel really bad about that though because again it's not my car this car is new and my husband did not scratch it so why should i but other than that i don't think that i caused any other errors or damage to his car i feel like once i get used to that i will be a decent driver of a tesla not gonna lie i kind of want a tesla now i've been talking about it it's not my dream car like it was my husband's but i'm still thinking about whether i should get one because i really like it it's super cool to drive anyway got work to do and food to eat so thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and like it if you want to see more videos like this tesla videos videos with me or my husband or the both of us go ahead and subscribe and we will see you in our next video see you later all right so this is what i was telling you guys about the fact that i scraped at the tire you see those scratches there i know poor tesla poor husband that's what i did all me my fault. If you don't see it, it's right there. <laughs> All right.